always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A yellow sun. That's right. Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? A yellow house. Yes! And what's this? Hmm, it looks like a yellow flower. That's right! What's this one? That's a yellow wiggle bug. <laughs> Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a yellow sun. A yellow house, a yellow flower, and a yellow wiggle bug. What do they all have in common? They're all yellow. That's right. Today, I'm only painting yellow things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make yellow our special color of the day. Which pencil is yellow? There it is! Yellow pencil. Which kite is yellow? There it is! Yellow kite. Which hat is yellow? There it is! Yellow hat. Which flower is yellow? There it is. Yellow flower. Very good. colors, like the color yellow.
crunching leaves. But only yellow leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! It's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Don't Wake the Baby. In this story, a brother and sister try to be very quiet so they don't wake the baby. Let's see if they are successful. Let's begin. Don't Wake the Baby Written and illustrated by Win T. Kim Lien Translated by Alicia Berger Ever since Mom came back with the baby, Eve and John have not been happy. They are not allowed to make noise when the baby is sleeping. But the baby is always sleeping. They are not allowed to run in the house. They are not allowed to chat at snack time. They are not allowed to scream no matter what. But the toughest rule is this one. When the baby is asleep, Eve and John must whisper. If they want to laugh, they can only giggle softly. But one day, the story they are reading is so funny that they can't help laughing. Oh, no! The baby is sleeping! The baby wakes up crying. Mom is angry. She yells at them to go play outside. Eve is sad. She doesn't like being yelled at. John comforts her. He says that it will be more fun to play outside. They can be as loud as they want. After playing soccer for a while, Eve and John are happy again. John kicks the ball. Goal! The ball flies across the garden. Bang! Oh no, the baby is awake. What will happen now? The baby cries. The baby is so loud that his crying breaks the milk bottle. It cracks the pot. It cracks the window. The baby is so loud that his crying lifts the roof off. Their brother won't stop crying. Eve and John rush inside. Eve holds the baby and sings, but the baby keeps crying. John dances. He does tricks. But the baby keeps crying. What makes a baby stop crying? Oh, soon Eve and John are crying too. Mom picks up the baby. She comforts him. She sings a lullaby. The baby stops crying. Now Eve and John understand. It's impossible for babies to be quiet, so it's better to just not make noise. Shh. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids! Hello, Mr. Frog! I'm going to teach you a song called The Ants Go Marching. 
I'll sing the first verse, then you sing along with me. The ants go marching one by one, hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching one by one, hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching one by one, the little one stops to suck his thumb, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. Now let's all sing together. But this time, the ants are marching two by two. Sing along with us. Here we go. The ants go marching two by two, hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching two by two, hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching two by two, the little one stops to tie his shoe, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. What number is next? Three. Right. Here we go. The ants go marching three by three, hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching three by three, hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching three by three. The little one stops to climb a tree, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. What's next? Four. Let's sing. The ants go marching four by four, hoorah. Hoorah! The ants go marching four by four. Hoorah! Hoorah! The ants go marching four by four. The little one stops to shut the door, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. Now, how many ants? Five. Yes. Here we go. The ants go marching five by five. Hoorah! Hoorah! Ants go marching five by five, hoorah, hoorah! The ants go marching five by five. The little one stops to take a dive, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom! That was wonderful. Thank you for singing with me. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Shapes, circles, triangles, ovals, stars, squares, rectangles. Hey, I have an idea. Look. Do, 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 do. It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. 
Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. A tisket, a tasket, a green and yellow basket. I wrote a letter to my love, and on the way I dropped it. I dropped it. I dropped it. Yes, on the way I dropped it, a little boy he picked it up and put it in his pocket. Oh.